Hi everyone, Cassie here and welcome back to my channel. So in one of my last videos, I think it was my art supply haul video, I showed off these new Prismacolor Premier drawing pencils that I got from my local Target and I got a request to unbox them and um, kind of show you what's in here. So I'm gonna do that today. And I'm really sorry that it's taken me so long to do this. Um, I have not opened these, as you can see, the, the plastic wrap is still on them. Um, life has been really, really hectic. And I know you guys are probably getting sick of hearing that from me, but <laughs> it doesn't make it any less true. And I'm trying my best to be present here and make um, consistent content. I have not gotten any farther on the Selena Finnick picture that I have been coloring. Um, I haven't gotten any farther than you've seen in the last video that I posted on that. Um, <clears throat> it's just been crazy and I'm trying to stay on top of doing school with my kids and all of the other mom stuff that I have to do and keep in the house and so um, enough rambling about that. We're going to get right into this. So this is Prismacolor Premier 18 count graphite drawing set and it has seven turquoise graphite pencils, four woodless graphite pencils, three water-soluble graphite pencils, two erasers, one sharpener, and one sanding board. Um, I'm not really sure what the sanding board is, to be honest, but we're gonna open this up and take a look at these. So I'm gonna grab one of my old sketchbooks over here. We're just going to kind of test these out. So let's see. Here is the sanding board. Is this a way of sharpening? Um, I know I could Google this, but if you know what this is, please let me know in the comments. Because um, I just, I have no idea what that's supposed to be for, but in any case, there it is. And oh, if um, if you like my videos and want to see more, please don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Leave me a like and a comment. It helps me out huge. I just really appreciate any support that you would have to give me. Um, <clears throat> I should have said that at first, but I'm going to say it now. So here is a kneaded rubber eraser. And uh, I think what you're supposed to be able to do is just um, like mold this like clay and, you know, mold it to make really tiny um, erasures or really big ones or whatever you need. Okay. Oh, that was lovely. It's glued in there. Um, magic rub. I'm assuming that this is just a standard eraser. After all that, I'm gonna stick it right back in there. And here is a simple run-of-the-mill little sharpener. These are okay. I've never had much luck with these not breaking your colored pencils anyway. I don't know how, the, how it'll do with this, but I have a, a desk sharpener that I use anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the lid over here and it's where I can see the contents again. Okay, so these turquoise graphite pencils. Um, so you have a 6H, and I don't know exactly what the letters mean. Uh, well, I know that they mean sharpness and softness. This one is a 4H, and this one is a 2H, a B, a 2B, a 6B, and an 8B. And 
and as far as I know, I think these are just basic drawing pencils. They're not actually colored turquoise. Okay, this is water-soluble graphite. This is supposed to um, be able to, you put it on the paper and dilute it with water, and it's supposed to mimic like watercolor almost. But this is a light HB. And a medium 4B. Dark 8B. And these are the woodless graphite pencils. So these are all entirely made of graphite. Um, these are decently heavy, a lot heavier than these because this is pure graphite and it doesn't have any wood around it. It's just pure, I don't know if you can see that, but this whole thing is just pure graphite. So this is a 6B and I don't know how informative this is. this actually is, but I'm doing my best. I am not a professional artist and I don't know this terminology well enough probably for this to be super satisfying for you, but I'm doing my best. Um, this is a 4B. This is an 8B and a 2B. So I've opened up my kneaded eraser and I'm just going to kind of show you. See, it's, it's just like clay and you can kind of warp it and bend it into the shape that you want. So let's say I wanted to erase just a very tiny area. I mean, you gotta give it some support, but there you go. And, uh, you know, without, without being sturdy, very sturdy at the tip, it wouldn't, probably wouldn't do a very strong erasure line, but in any case, that's what it does. So I'm gonna move on to the fun part, which is the pencils. So we have, I'll do all those H's first. I think how this works, risking doing this before I actually try them, is that I think the H's are the harder pencils and the B's are the softer ones. So I have a 2H, which is going to be pretty much like a regular graphite pencil there. It's got, um, pretty thin lines and um, the lead is very hard. This is riveting and scientific, I know. I'm really just tearing it up with this. <laughs> okay, um, this is the 4H and the, yes, the, this one is actually harder. So the higher the number, the harder they are, at least from what it appears to be. Um, the line is lighter. If you can see the difference there. This is going to be best, these two here are probably gonna be best for like your sketches if you wanna keep things very light and easily erasable. I guess I can take my magic rub eraser and just show you. See, you can, as long as you draw white, you can almost get that to completely disappear. And here's the 6H. Like barely, you can barely see it on the page. I pressed a little hard right there, um, but this is pressing about as hard as you're gonna want to. So that's your 6H. 
And again, these are gonna be, see I pressed really hard there so it didn't go away completely, but um, this is gonna be the pencils that you use for your initial sketch um, when you're trying to make sure that you can erase mistakes and whatnot. So these are gonna be the softer pencils and I think probably the darker pencils. So this is your B. There we go. And the lead is going on a little bit smoother, a little bit more creamy here than the, um, than the H pencils did. And this one is 2B. Look at how much darker that is already. Um, these are, if you do graphite drawings, um, these are going to be what you um, shade with various uh, mid tones and, and shadow tones and, you know, darker and lighter tones. But these will be what you would want to do your shading with the B's, not the H's. This one is 6B. See, it doesn't even really want to make a crisp line. You can if you color on the, or if you mark with the, uh, with the sharpened tip, but if you kind of put it on the side, it almost mimics a colored pencil and that it doesn't really want to make a sharp, crisp line. These are made for shading and filling in. <clears throat> so this is 6B. And then the last one, I'm excited to see what this one does. This last one is an 8B. So, um, let's see what you can do. Look, the lead is already super, super dark. You can really tell. Oh my gosh, now that is... That's awesome. That's like, like I'd want to draw with that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't see the a huge difference between the six and the eight here, um, in terms of darkness. But as far as hardness of the lead, this one is softer than this one by a noticeable degree. Not by like a landslide, but a very noticeable degree it's it's softer the um the 8b is softer than the 6b see that that goes on like butter and it just doesn't want to leave any like paper showing because it's so creamy that it gets into all of the little crevices so this one is 8b okay now i'm going to move on to the water soluble HB water soluble graphite and what that means is you're just going to take and put the pigment down on the paper let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing okay um, you're gonna put the pigment down on the paper and I'm gonna make a gradient this is the lightest color and then I'm gonna take my water brush, take my little washcloth here and, and wet my brush. I didn't fill it up too full, but enough to do this demonstration. And you're just gonna spread it like watercolor. It's pretty cool. I've never seen, I've never had a water soluble graphite pencil before. Okay. And now I'm going to do the medium 4B. Same thing. I'm going to start off with hard pressure and make a gradient. And then take this. And oh, that's so pretty. I want to make a drawing with this now. Um, 
I might actually be, normally I like color pencil work, but I, this might be what makes me want to start doing some graphite drawings as well. This is the 8B Dark. Okay, start off again, hard pressure. And create a gradient. And you can't really tell until you put the water on how dark it's gonna be. But you see that? That is some crazy stuff right there. I mean, it's just, and it's, it's spreading really nicely. Like, it's not leaving a whole ton of um, te pencil texture. Okay. Last but not least, I'm gonna do the woodless graphite pencils. And these are all B leads. Um, so these are definitely gonna be for like some really heavy shading. This is woodless graphite 2B. 2B. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be crazy. Okay, so There is that gradient for the 2B. This one is, no, I'm gonna go in order, um, 4B. 4B, my handwriting is horrendous, guys, sorry. Okay, and we're gonna start hard pressure, make a gradient. And that is the 4B. The next up is the 6B. Can't even see that 6. That's some thick, really thick, uh, thick graphite. Now, again, hard pressure, and bring it over into the gradient. And then, finally, the 8B. Same deal. That is some crazy good, <laughs> that is some crazy good stuff right there. All right, so this is my little, um, my swatches of these pencils here. And if you would like me to do a drawing demonstration, demonstration using um, a good handful, if not all of these pencils, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that for you. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.